Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Carla Salinas, and I'm so excited to spend my morning with you guys. First things first, we're stepping right up to Nadia's dance studio in Edinburgh. Hey guys, get your dancing shoes on because today we're at Nadia's School of Dance in the city of Edinburgh and I'm here with Miss Nadia who's actually going to be teaching me a dance here in just a few moments. But first, let's get to know each other, Nadia. So tell me about the studio. How long have you guys been in business? Uh, well, we've been in business for 24 years. Next year will be our 25th year. Super excited for that. So what sort of dance classes do you guys have to offer here? Uh, we offer all sorts of styles. We offer a ballet, uh, tap, jazz, flamenco, folklorico, uh, hip hop, uh, tumbling, and right now during the summer, we're also offering cheer. Wow. So what would you say is your favorite part of coaching all of these classes and you know, helping our students out there really get those minds going? It's, it's mainly just working with the kids, teaching them, uh, Stuff they don't know, because that's why they're here. They're here to learn dance, uh, but not just dance. We guide them in very many different aspects. So who can participate? What age group are we talking here? We actually start our students at the age of two and a half. Wow. To all ages, <laughs> because there's also an, an adult group that does folklorico. I'm part of that group too. And uh, so it's, it's for all ages. What would you say to mamas watching this right now who are like, well, you know what? I don't know if I want to take my child to a dance class quite yet. You know, tell me about some of those benefits. It will help them uh, come out of their shell. We get a lot of students that are very timid and shy. And by the time they're done with their first, with their first season and after their first recital, yeah, they're a completely different person. Okay, Miss Nadia, well, what do you say you teach me a little dance here? Are you ready? I don't know, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Okay, fine, but go easy on me. I'll think about it. Okay, let's do it. I'll give it a go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and do five, six, together seven, pull back eight. One, two, three, and four. Kick, claw, change. Ba, 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 ba. Five, six, seven, eight, go right, left, around, and left, right, around, and right, left, right, and left, right, left, and kick and out, kick and out, go, jump, go, out, yes, yeah. ah. whoa, <laughs> and one, two, three, four, hit. How do you think I did? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you try by yourself? Why don't you do it by yourself? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I think everyone wants wants to see you do it by yourself. What do y'all think? I think so. Well, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens without Miss Nadia okay. here. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I did it! Okay, Miss Nadia, one more time. Where can people find you if they do want to schedule that class with you? 4313 Mile 8 and a Half Road in Edinburgh, of course. And uh, they can contact us through our social media platforms. Okay, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I better see y'all out here killing it just like I did. If I can do it, you can do it. Get out yeah. here. Get your kiddos in here. They'll have a good time. Thank you, Miss okay, Nadia. Yes, thank you so very much. Thank you for having us once more. Thanks, guys. Hey, dancers, the Rio Grande Valley Snake Charmers are looking for you. They're hosting auditions, and dance director Yesenia January is here to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for joining us, oh, Yesenia. Thank you for having me. Okay, so give us the laydown for someone that isn't familiar with the Snake Charmers. Tell me all about them. So the Snake Charmers are one of two entertainment teams that we have for the RGV Vipers. Um, they're more of your standard NBA all-female team. And then our Hype Squad is our co-ed. They're more street and hip-hop based. Um, but to put it simply, they provide the entertainment in between um, the game. So on quarter breaks, half times, and on the concourse, really engaging fans and bringing the energy to the fan experience. So what are some of the requirements for those tryouts? So requirements is that you have to be at least 18 years of age and have graduated high school or have a GED, um, have reliable transportation, and be ready to practice. We practice twice a week. There is no age limit, and dance experience is not necessarily required. Some of our dancers are all self-taught as well. So as long as you're willing to put in the work, we invite you to audition. Okay, so you mentioned that we have two different teams here. Tell me about some of the differences. How are they different? So with Snake Charmers, that one's an all-female team, and they're more of what you see in a traditional NBA team with jazz, palm, a very feminine style of hip-hop. 
Um, and then with our Hype Squad, this is a new innovation that the industry has come up with in the past five years. It's co-ed, it's street, it's hip hop. Um, you'll see a lot of freestyling and you'll see them a lot in the concourse engaging with the fans and just making the fan experience a memorable one. So what can these guys expect if they do join the team? So auditions are on the 19th of August for Snake uh, for Hype Squad and then the 26th of August for Snake Charmers. What they can expect is that the first round is a freestyle audition. Can you dance? Can you bust a move to any song that's playing? After that, they'll learn a set choreography. You'll have some time to review it on your own and then you present it before a panel of judges. Following that, we'll go with an interview. Can you engage fans? Are you willing to be an ambassador for our community and for our brand? We move on to training camp and from there we decide who is part of this cohesive team and ready to represent our brand. Then we decide our final team and announce it to the public and get ready for the season. How exciting! Do you have any advice for someone watching this right now that's like, you know what, I'm looking to try out. So my biggest piece of advice is the only one standing in the way is yourself. So if you're in your own head, if you're doubting your ability to try out, I guarantee you it is the experience of a lifetime. Okay, yes, and yeah. And I see that you brought some of the team here, so yes, come on out, guys. Welcome, welcome. Okay, first of all, the uniforms, so iconic. So we got our Snake Charmers here and then our Hype Squad over here. Correct. How excited are you for this season? I'm so excited for the season to start. I have an incredible group of uh, members behind me and I'm really excited to see what they're gonna put into our incoming rookies, how they're gonna develop this brand and help build the next generation of dancers. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Now for more information, where can people go? So you can follow us on social media. For the Snake Charmers, their Instagram handle is RGVS See? And for the Venom Hype Squad, it's Venom Hype Squad on Instagram. So amazing, and I'll see you guys on the court dancing. Okay guys, it's time to venture into life in plastic. The City of Far is throwing a pink paradise party and you guys are invited. Here to tell us all about it is Yuridia Gonzalez with the City of Far. Yuri, thank you so much for joining us. It's good to see you. Thank you, I'm excited, Carla. Great things happening in the City of Far, as you mentioned, and now we're getting ready for a big event happening this afternoon in the City of Far, and it's the Pink Paradise Pool Party. I'm so excited. You've got to tell us what's going on. What can people expect? Well, we're already kind of like trending in the pink, right? That's right. It's part of a, a big sensation or big buzz happening. And there's a big blockbuster premiere happening this weekend, right? We all right. know who it is. We I all know, know who we're talking about. So the City of Far decides to host a themed pool party. What better than doing it now in the summer? Temperatures are hot. And let's be honest, not everybody has an opportunity or the means to go to South Padre Island. You want to do something that's local, affordable. This is a free event and you stay cool with the family and friends. So it's happening today at the Far Aquatic Center. It's a true gem. If you haven't seen it, please visit us. It's beautiful. It sounds like it's going to be so much fun. Now, you mentioned it's a pink theme party. So what sort of pink things can we expect? You know, like those dolls we used to play with when we were kids, you yeah. know, that type of doll, you know, everybody knows it's an icon. So we're expecting just all shades and patterns of pastels to neons, any type of pink, you know, wear pink. We're also having swag bags for the first 100 people. And obviously it's going to have a logo that you'll see here, the pink paradise pool party with the city of far. So we're going to have merchandise. We're going to have cups. We're going to have towels. So we're transforming our pool, our aquatic center, into an evening of just a splash of pink. So I think it's gonna be exciting. We're expecting parents, we're expecting moms, children of all ages, and just, you know, get excited. It's, it's a, I think theme parties are, are so in, and what better to do it with a, a movie that premiered this weekend. So it's a great party, it's, um, and everyone's invited. You don't have to be a far resident to join us and it's a free event. Perfect, Yudi, and where can people find those tickets? City of Far, just uh, find us on Facebook, either Parks and Rec or just the City of Far. For more information, if we have tickets available, we're expecting a capacity of 600, but I know that we've had great events in the past and those tickets go fast. Don't be discouraged because we still have many other events, you know, in the making with the City of Far, and this is just, a fun one for the summer for, for the kiddos. And Kens can also go by. That's another question, right? So are the Kens invited? Are yes. the Kens invited? Boys and girls, everyone's invited. Just stop by and have a good time. Okay, well, I'm so excited. I'll have to make you it. You better be there. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Yudi. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here to share this awesome party. The following segment is supported by the city of McAllen. 
a festival that celebrates music, culture, and art. That's right, Mexlon is right around the corner, and here to talk to us all about it is Vinny Trevino from LNF Distributors and Joe Garcia from the McAllen Convention Center. Thank you guys both so much for joining us today. Uh, thank, thank you, for, you for, having thanks for having us. So first of all, I'm so excited for Mexlon. It's something that I look forward to every single year. Now, Joe, what can people expect from this year's event? Well, they can expect a lot of great music and a celebration of pre-Hispanic culture uh, from Mexico. So we're going to have music, artists and vendors. Um, and this year we're really excited. We're actually going to have Lucha Libre on Sunday. Oh. So celebrating Mexican culture from pre-Hispanic times to the phenomenon of Lucha Libre. So it's very exciting and it's jam-packed, right? Last year was five year, five day festival. Now it's going to be a three day festival. So we're very jam-packed with everything for the family, for everyone to come. And this year, Benny, LNF Distributors is actually working alongside the city of McAllen. Tell us about this partnership. Yes, yeah, so it's our first year participating with Mexlon. Obviously, it's a great event we've always wanted to be a part of. Um, but this year, we'll actually be taking a deeper dive by participating by bringing some of our spirits to sample out, which is pretty unique. We have an awesome portfolio, a great selection of Gavin, so we'll be able to feature that, showcase it. We'll be out there talking about what we have, talking about our products, and just giving you a good history rundown on Agave from you know how it's made, where it's made and what we have available for the public. So we're really excited about that. Now, is this a separate ticket from Mexlon? From my understanding, yeah, we have a sampling event and then we'll have restaurants out there that we feature in our agaves as well. So it'd be kind of two aspects to kind of go out and get a drink from the restaurants and then come talk to us and let us give you a deep dive on agave. That sounds so amazing. Yeah. We're celebrating Hispanic culture. We can't do it without tequila and mezcal. No, we cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Joe, tell us about the Sabor de Mexico event as well. So the Sabor de Mexico is going to happen on Sunday, and it's a celebration of our local restaurants. They'll be doing tastings. It's a food festival. So that's something that people really need to understand about Mexlan is that it's a festival within festivals. So Saturday, Sabor de Mexico, featuring great food from Mexico, uh, featuring the local restaurants, and Saturday, with, like he said, with uh, LNF, it's our Spirits Tequila and Mezcal Festival as well. So there's separate tickets that, oh, those are available on Ticketmaster. People can go in there, get their tickets already, because we do expect great large crowds for these VIP kind of high level uh, experience events for the Spirits Mezcal and for the Sabora Mexico, featuring great food from our restaurants. Okay, well, you sold me. One more time, Joe, where can people find their tickets? The tickets at Ticketmaster. They just need to look for Mixlon on Ticketmaster or go to Mixlon.com and they have all the information for the festival, the, the schedule and tickets at Mixlon.com. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, the time has come. Now is your chance to win some tickets. Call the number you see on your screen for your chance to win a pair of tickets for the Spirits Tequila and Mezcal Tasting presented by LNF Distributors at Mexlon. Only the first caller wins, so get that phone out right now and call the number you see on your screen. Good luck, everyone. The most adorable baby clothing, and they have a special discount for our viewers. Take 5 Off is next. Okay guys, we showed you some pink, now it's time to show you some blue for today's Take 5 Off. Parents and grandparents, you're gonna wanna take advantage of this one. Boy of My Dreams Boutique is here and I'm with the owner, Amalia Carvilla. Thank you so much for joining us, Amalia. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us about this very special discount for our viewers watching yes. this. Yes, so I have a discount code, it's Take 5. Um, if you shop our website, boyofmydreamsboutique.com, you can get 10% off with the discount code. Uh, I also do markets. So if you go to one of our markets and you say that you saw me here on Take 5, we'll also honor the 10% off. Uh, I do offer pickup, so uh, let me know, send me a DM, and we can also set that up for you at Cubby's McAllen. Okay, so let's get started going through some of this stuff because I'm so excited. Now, <laughs> Thank you. this is for kind of babies from what age? Yeah, so basically it started two years ago when I had my baby boy. I started the boutique specifically for boys at the beginning. It kind of evolved into a gender neutral uh, at this point. The girlies out there yes. can also wear this. <laughs> yes, there is some specific items uh, catered to girls, but a lot of outfits are for boys and girls. So like you mentioned, a lot of unisex, a lot of neutrals, earthy tones, pastels. Okay, yeah. Amalia, so we'll get started with our outfit over here. Tell us about these three outfits. Um, so I, I 
I know here in the valley it's very hot, so I try to bring a lot oh, of yeah. rompers, especially for our babies here. So you'll see a lot of these designs or styles uh, at the boutique, uh, a lot of uh, soft cottons for babies, because obviously a lot of babies have um, you know, sensitive skin and we don't want them to get any rashes, things like that. So I try to bring soft cottons. We also have infant shoes, also uh, neutral colors from beiges to browns. Uh, we have a, a few blues there uh, for boys as well. Okay, perfect. Now moving on over here, this is what I loved right mm -hmm. away. When you were setting up here in the studio, I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I died at this. Yes. They're little rattles. So cute, so cute, yes. Oh. So all of these items you can purchase separately. Um, but I, I'm also offering them on our baby gift boxes. So okay. I just launched these last month. So you choose basically um, a swaddle blanket uh, of your choice, whatever color you want. And then you can choose from the different items that I have, anywhere from shoes, baby rattles, headbands, we have pacifier, clips, mittens, any thing that you can think of that infant or newborn essentials need. Oh, I can't think of a better gift than mm -hmm. this. this literally has everything a new mama needs. One more time, Amalia, where can people find you? Now this is gonna be with that 10% off, so make sure yes. that you guys take advantage of that, but if they do wanna shop for, with that code, where can people find it? Again, you can shop our website, boyofmydreamsboutique.com. You can find us at our markets, and then you can also DM me for a pickup here in the Valley. Well, thank you so much for thank joining us so today, Amalia. Thank you so much for Amalia. having me. <laughs> okay, guys, don't go anywhere. We're sitting down with South Texas College after the break to check out some really cool opportunities for students. We'll be right back. The following segment is sponsored by South Texas College. Hey guys, today we're talking all about some educational opportunities with South Texas College. And I'm here with Miss Sara Lozano. Thank you so much for joining us, Miss Lozano. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me a little bit about South Texas College. You know, our main focus at South Texas College is really to uh, provide students and our community with opportunities to succeed, um, to really empower them to get jobs that are going to um, help support their families, and really just enrich our, um, our region here. We want to make sure that students are equipped with training and um, skills necessary to either continue their education or to find employment or both. You know, and, and that's really what I think the, the college does for this region is, uh, you know, develop things, uh, trainings, programs, um, anything that is going to be beneficial to, uh, you know, to individuals themselves to better their lives. One of those educational opportunities that you offer here at South Texas College is short-term certificates. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Sure. Um, so our Occupational Skills Awards um, are one example of how we can identify short-term credentials within a one semester. Um, most of the time the OSAs are one semester long and so it's something that's quick, um, convenient for individuals. So Ms. Lozano, can you give us a couple of examples of short-term certificates available here at South Texas College? Sure, well one of our exciting um, ones that is relatively new is our mechatronics program and that one's really exciting because um, the, the program is, you know, the faculty and the instructors, they are working on embedding um, some credentials within that and one of them is uh, artificial intelligence for manufacturing. So um, that's something really exciting because, you know, there's a lot of automation that exists in robotics and um, they're embedding this into the curriculum. So that one's really great and it's, you know, again, a one, one term certificate, um, but we are looking at expanding additional classes because we know that there's additional training that will be needed. And are some of these credits that students will earn applicable to sort of an associate's degree or even a certificate? Anytime we're creating an OSA or a certificate, we try to make sure that there's a path for students to continue. And so not only can they stack this on top of each other, right, so they have the OSA, it can stack into um, the certificate, then stack into an associate's degree, and then we also have bachelor degrees here. That is a great opportunity for students to continue their education all the way through um, a bachelor's degree and then, you know, beyond if they, if they so choose. For more information, visit southtexascollege.edu slash academics slash OSA. Okay guys, you're not gonna wanna go anywhere. This cutie pie is ready to go home with you. Pet of the Week is next.
Okay, guys, the time has come. It's time to meet our furry friend of the week. Millicent, who do you have there for us? Carla, look at this little adorable baby that we have in the house today. He is actually a celebrity. This is Mr. Michael Scott. And as you can see, he's still very teeny tiny. He's about 10 to 12 weeks old and he is a Chihuahua mix. Now, he is ready and looking for a family that's gonna give him so much love. As you can hear, he needs a little extra. Even today, you can get him into your home. He's available at the Weslaco Animal Care Services where they have no adoption fees, all you need is to have a home available. He is gonna get just a little bigger, maybe about 15 pounds. He is available for adoption at the Westlaco Animal Care Services, and actually they are gonna be having an event starting tomorrow from 4 to 9 p.m. in Ed Couch, where you can see a lot of the animals they have available, including Michael Scott, so make sure you head out there and call the number you see on your screen to get more information. For Take 5's Pet of the Week, I'm Millicent Olivares. Okay guys, here's a look at what's going on across the RGV. The Texas Hunters and Sportsmen's Expo is happening this weekend at the McAllen Convention Center. Visit TexasHuntersAssociation.com for more information. The City of Bar Parks and Recreation presents the Lion King Jr. at the PSJA North High School Auditorium today. That's it for now, guys. Thank you all for spending your Saturday morning with us. Tomorrow, we're getting a little crafty. See you guys at 1030 tomorrow. Have a great day.